What is up? Okay. Um, not open these yet. There's the wrapper. Basically, you can tell from the title what these are. Um, been trying to get these for, <clears throat> excuse me, for probably a good two months. Um, every time I put the email in, trying to request these uh, in my size, um, they haven't been coming in. If they come in, it seems like to be like midnight or when I'm sleeping, I'll get the email saying from Doc Martens that they came in and I'll click right on it and they're already gone. So um, these are the uh, polycombs from uh, Doc Martens. Again, I'm kind of glad I couldn't get them from the site um i have not opened these yet hopefully they fit uh i am a nine and a half usually uh they say to kind of downsize it to like a nine for doc martens we'll see if that's true um if they don't fit i'll just return them and get a 10 but then i feel like that'll be too big so i'm gonna hopefully pray that these fit but basically um i think they're 120 bucks on doc martens uh, website and if these are legit and from the box it looks like they are and they're right and everything like that, they fit. I got these for 59 bucks on Amazon, so you can't beat that. So I'm going to pause the video real quick and uh, going to put something down next to it since I'm opening this up. Kind of make a little package here. Boom. Um, pretty cool. We haven't done a review on this yet. Uh, the mask we have, I believe, this was, yeah, this this mask we've shown before. This is, this is what I said was the, one of the two best copies that I got out of the four 25th anniversary ghost face mask. Um, I think this one is just, I don't know, I really dig this one. This is... So, if you can tell, that is signed by Max. I may damage his, bat, his last name. I don't think I will, but if I do, sorry. Max Laferia. And uh, he, he's he been around for a while. Um, he's a stunt guy actor. He's played little parts in, like, uh, you know, stunt guy on the train in, like, uh, uh, X-Men, Dark Phoenix, um, Hopefully he comes back for Scream 7. I thought, personally, um, he's probably one of the best Ghostface uh, stunt doubles. Um, he was a really cool guy to talk to. He's done a bunch of other stuff, too. He's done some small TV shows and um, Assassin's Creed video games and stuff like that. So he's actually done quite a bit. I personally didn't know much about him. Um, I knew who he was because of Scream. When Scream came out, I always like to see who the stunt double is. Um I know about all the stunt doubles from the other the past films, and um, yeah, this dude is pretty much my favorite um, by far. I think I don't know. I just like the way he moved. And I just kind of liked his. Uh, I don't know. Not that he's more brutal. It's just I don't know. Just the tilting of the head. Just I'm not saying that Dean or other Ghostface stunt doubles didn't do that, but I don't know. Just he. I liked him, so I thought he was pretty cool. And he was a super nice guy. Um, so we met him at Spooky Empire, really cool to me and my kids, or my kids and I. Um, I had a, I had like three questions for him, and I only asked two. I forgot what the third one was. Well, I didn't forget it, but I in the moment I kind of just like didn't want to take up too much of his time because he was pretty talkative and he was really cool. But I wanted other people to talk to him, so I didn't want to, you know, hold him up forever. But I had two que two questions that I wanted answered. Um, and he answered, you know, answered them, which they're relevant, what they are, but it had to do with Scream 6 and certain scenes of the film and, uh, just stuff that I kind of wanted to know that is not on special features or any kind of stuff like that. Really nice guy though. You guys should check him out, um, on Instagram or whatnot. Uh, but I'll put his name in here. It's, uh, Mac, Max Laferia. Um, he probably pronounces it completely different because, uh, and cooler because he's Canadian. Um, so... Mine suck. My my version sucks. I apologize, but yeah, he signed it. I was gonna have him sign the the copy that I have that has the blue dots right here. Um, that 
if you guys remember in a past video, people that watch Scream stuff, I had a ghost face mask that I got that had a couple right here. I put it in the, the thing, and it seems like it went away, all the way, and then it basically, um, another mask got it right here. So I hung that mask up just to see if it spread, which it, it never did, and it never sp spread it to any other mask that was in there, the older EUs. But I just moved it just in case. I really don't know if it really does spread or not. I mean, I've heard different things from what it is, um, you know, from it being the dye from the shroud and, you know, like a, a mold, not a mold, like mold from like, you know, mildew and water and whatnot. It's it's a different type of mold. Um, I think the uh, the dye makes a lot more sense. That's what I think it is. But anyways, I mean, I really didn't want to use this mask to have him signed, but I didn't really want to bring the other mask and, and have him sign that with the, the dots on it and stuff like that because um, awesome. I mean, it sucks because um, we met Jamie Kennedy, um, very sweet guy. Um, he signed my Scream shirt and some other stuff. Took a lot of pictures with us. Um, he was like maybe an hour from our house. Very, very nice guy. And I uh, got to talk to him for a, a good while. Um, his stand-up was hilarious if you guys ever get to watch him. So I should have brought the mask. Um, he said to bring it when I mentioned it. Uh, again, in the moment, forgot it. But it's good because we're going to see him, David Arquette, and... Uh, my favorite ghost face ever, uh, besides Matthew Lillard, Skeet Ulrich. So, um, Billy Loomis, aka. So we're going to have, uh, I'll have, I'll bring this and have them sign it. Yeah, it really won't make sense because, well, I guess it really doesn't matter. I mean, I could use a one mask to have the OG sign it and then, you know, this is on there. I can just keep this mask for that, but I'm just going to have whoever I can have from Scream sign this. Um, cause I don't want to use my EUs that are in perfect condition. I, I don't want to do that. So, um, and I don't have a, uh, I'm going to call it gen one, gen two. If you guys get mad about that, sorry, this is, but I don't have those masks anymore. Or I think I had a gen one at one time when I was younger, but I didn't know enough about it to what it was. So I lost it and whatnot. All right. Anyways, check out the guy. He's really cool. Very nice dude. Um, actually, pretty decent actor too, and pretty pretty good stunt double. Um, I just thought the mask was great. Love that mask. Here we go. I was thinking about it. I was like, man, what what if they're knockoffs? But I don't think they are. Obviously, you can tell by the box. But these are the shoes that uh, I'm gonna call them shoes. People call them boots. Very light so far. Pretty nice. Yes. Okay. I got a... Pretty dope. Yep, those are legit. I like these. These are supposed to be very comfortable. Um, I will actually wear these. Um, concerts and whatnot. I will not wear them to work. If they are super comfortable... Um, I will buy another pair if they're still available on Amazon uh, for that price. And I will wear them to work and not care how I, how I mess those up. But I mainly got these people that are into certain things will understand this, but I mainly got these to go with uh, a ghost face cosplay. You know, uh, it's just cool to have it, not to collect them and save them and then sell them when they sell out one day and they don't make them i'm not really i don't do that kind of crap but just for the simple fact that i don't have any screen accurate ghost face uh boots you can't get the reebok box from scream one the i think the scream two is like rugged outbacks i believe uh that may be the same for scream three but it's different style scream four is don't quote me on scream four i could be wrong but i thought for scream four and up, it is it is Doc Martens. I know Scream 5 is Doc Martens, but it's the, uh, I think they're called Monos, I believe. It's that really kind of like silky 
or not so like shiny. Uh, I don't really like those. I never bought those, but they're cool. I mean, if you got to go for Screen Five cosplay, but I'm just gonna use these with the 25th anniversary uh, costume that I have right now and an EU mask and see how it looks. I think it'll be pretty badass. And um, and then down the road, uh, it's Screen Ropes, baby. But yeah, I'm gonna try these on. I got a feeling they're gonna fit, but. Pretty, pretty nice. Oh my god. Oh, okay, it's supposed to be like that. That's a joke, by the way. But, uh... Yeah, man, these are these are nice. I can't believe I got these at that price. See, it just takes a little bit of time, guys. Don't, don't buy them off scalpers. I said this before with masks and stuff. Don't buy them off scalpers. I mean, if you get a really good deal, I guess it's up to you. It's your money. But take your time. Just look for stuff. I mean, you probably don't need to take two months like my lazy butt did, but I didn't even think about really going on Amazon. The only reason I went on Amazon, um, and I never buy anything from there, is because... Um, I love these. Is because uh, I watched a video where a guy bought these from Amazon. And I was like, oh, let me just check. And I uh, went to Amazon, and they were there. So that's it. Scream Sticks. Doc Martens, they feel awesome. They're very light, and I could see probably why they use these instead. They're not heavy. They seem more practical. Um, I like how they're all black. I, don't, I like how they're... I know Doc Martens. I, I've never had a pair of Doc Martens before, but I, uh, I believe they always have that yellow here. So I like how they don't have that. But yeah, I'm going to end the video there. Um, Sign uh, Ghostface Mask, 25th anniversary. Good copy without the uh, purple dots and bullshit. Screen accurate Doc Martens from Scream 6. Peace.